If this book exists, you're in the wrong universe. A novel by Jason Pargin is the fourth entry in the John Dies at the End series. It continues the darkly comedic and bizarre adventures of David Wong, a pseudonym for the author, as well as the protagonist of the series and his friend John Cheese, as they confront supernatural forces and struggle to understand the twisted nature of reality. Throughout the novel, the boundary between fiction and reality is blurred, incorporating meta-narratives and challenging the reader's perception of what is real. The story unfolds in the peculiar town of Undisclosed, where Dave and John have previously encountered otherworldly beings and navigated various cosmic horrors. They operate as paranormal investigators, though their methods are far from conventional and often lead to chaotic, unintended consequences. Their latest escapade revolves around a book, a book that shouldn't exist. If this book exists, you're in the wrong universe, allegedly written by David Wong himself. Its presence is an impossible paradox that suggests a breakdown in the fabric of the universe. As the implications of the book's title suggest, multiple universes exist, and Dave and John find themselves dealing with the ripple effects of interdimensional travel. The novel introduces a device called the soy sauce, a mysterious substance that has played a central role in the series. The sauce grants the user an altered state of consciousness, enabling them to gain insight into the hidden layers of the universe and, at times, to hop between alternate realities. The catch, however, is that the sauce is unpredictably powerful, and its use often results in strange and lethal encounters with beings from the fringes of existence. In this multiverse, each version of Dave and John has slight variations. The narrative weaves between these alternate selves as they face different challenges. One version of Dave, for example, faces the challenge of being a reluctant hero in a reality where he must battle a demonic, shape-shifting entity known as the Shadow Men, who are hunting a woman named Amy Sullivan. Amy has been a recurring character throughout the series and has a complex relationship with the protagonists. As the narrative progresses, the duo stumbles upon a conspiracy that threatens the stability of all the various realities. A sinister force is deliberately manipulating events to bring about the collapse of the multiverse. John and Dave confront a shadowy organization known only as Them, composed of individuals from different universes working towards their own mysterious agenda. They realize that the seemingly random supernatural occurrences they've dealt with in the past are actually connected to this larger narrative, all being orchestrated by this organization. In the midst of this, the characters engage in their usual antics, irreverent humor, offbeat philosophical musings, and extreme measures to save themselves and their reality. Their quest for answers takes them through a maze of alternate undisclosed towns, each with its own set of dangers. The soy sauce becomes both a tool and a curse, providing necessary knowledge and abilities at the cost of their sanity and well-being. The novel takes a deep dive into the concept of deterministic versus free will, as Dave and John face the possibility that their actions have been manipulated or predestined. There is a consistent theme of the struggle against losing one's identity amid the chaos of shifting realities and the influence of the soy genies, the quasi-dimensional entities that grant access to the sauce. Dave grapples with questions of what it means to be a hero when your very existence is malleable and potentially expendable. Moreover, if this book exists, you're in the wrong universe, challenges the notions of narrative and authorship. Parjan uses his characters to critique and play with the idea of a writer's control over their creation. The book self-referentially suggests that the existence of Dave and John's story within our real world, as a novel, is proof of realities colliding. The climax of the book sees Dave and John orchestrating a daring plan to stop them and prevent the collapse of all worlds. They gather allies from various dimensions, including Amy and the enigmatic Dr. Marconi, who has aided them throughout the series. Their mission requires them to delve into the heart of the multi-universe, confronting unfathomable cosmic entities and untangling the fabric of reality to remove the threat. In their typical fashion, Dave and John's plan is unconventional and messy, embracing improvisation and relying on the unpredictable nature of the soy sauce. They manage to isolate the forces behind them and cut off their influence, but the victory is bittersweet.
The resolution underscores the transient nature of existence and the profound impact of every choice in an infinite sea of branching realities. Finally, the novel closes with Dave and John returning to what they hope is their original reality. They reflect on their journey, uncertain of the future, and whether they've truly resolved the paradox of their multiple selves. The mysterious book that started it all seems to vanish as if it was a residual artifact from the conflict. However, the lingering question of what is truly real remains, leaving both the characters and the readers to ponder the nature and substance of reality and identity. In sum, if this book exists, You're in the Woe 2 Universe, a novel is a mind-bending exploration of the John Dies at the End universe, filled with humor, horror, and existential inquiry. It presents a reality in which anything is possible, where characters confront the absurd and confounding universe they live in, and where the very existence of their story invites the reader to question the nature of the world beyond the page. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.